Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. We got a very special guest with us today. It is always good to be here. It's Mr. X. Yeah, Mr. you're damn right. Let's crack into another so one. So TNT, Yo. you had talked last week about that you were going on a plane ride. <laughs> Don't ever. <laughs> I hate you so much sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. I say things. Tell me about your plane ride. <laughs> I'm like, what is the way I can say this that he will hate the most? God TNT is going damn. to the air, on an airplane for the first time. Yeah. I am be- not three years old. I don't go on fucking plane rides. Hey, if you ask. Are we, 30, are we a if, minute and a half in the video? I'm sorry. I dropped it. If you ask, they'll give you these little plastic wings. <laughs> I don't want your plastic. I don't want a lollipop, you motherfuckers. All so, right. So, anyways. He was talking about how sometimes he wants he wants to fly first class, and he was talking about like laying down or what. I don't even know what the kind of bullshit you're talking about. <laughs> you're like, you're I, like, I actually did listen to that podcast. Yeah, and you're talking about so putting his feet up, saying, kind of putting his feet it? up, so, and so, listen, yeah, telling me about your thoughts on let first me give class. Me a little pretense here. All right, so yes, I am flying. I'm actually flying out on Monday. I'm going back to Cleveland to go visit my mother, take her to a doctor's appointment because I'm a good son. At least yeah, I try. Yeah, look at you. Either way, I'm flying, and I was thinking about. I had heard um, a individual talk about first class and they were like, it's really not that expensive. And they were like, it's a little, it, like, obviously it's a little bit more. But when you think about the experience that you can get, you should at least go through it one time. So I was talking about possibly flying first class because I have been saving money for a long time and I feel like I should treat myself to first class flight. But I had already purchased my tickets, but I've never done it. We currently have somebody for the pod who can speak on flying first class. Well, let me lay my dick on the table here real quick. Put it quick. on the table. Put your whole dick out. I, first, I, let's I, talk about cost. How much I, more? I, I fly first class a lot. Really? Through work? I do. Uh, yeah, mostly through work. So the big That's deal. awesome so, that they fly. Well, no, class. it's it, let, me, let, let me let me clarify. I fly United Airlines a I lot. I don't know what that is. Shout means. out to United Airlines. It's one of the airlines. Um, I I am a I have platinum status with the because you travel so much. I travel so much with them. So when you have once you get to their levels of status, you you get on these lists to where they will upgrade you That's for what free I, yeah, yeah. if there's open seats up there. Oh, so if you have like a coach seat and there's no there's an opening in first class, they'll be like, excuse me, sir, you're platinum. Come exactly. And, yeah. So come so sit on my lap. And based on your. Based on your status is where you are on the list of upgrades. So if you're high enough status, you'll be first on the list of upgrades. And so if there's spots, they'll let you sit in there. Okay, gotcha. So, so yeah. Now, I have paid to fly it, too. But normally... A lot of it is free. A lot of it is free. Okay. So I fly it a lot. It's a perk. It, it's a nice perk. It's when you, a nice so perk. If you're lo- it's a loyalty thing, right? So they want you to have this status so you fly their airline a lot. Yeah. So then yeah. you'll they'll bump you up. But if you... If you jump around to different airlines, you don't get, you never right. get to the it's status. Like, like, I try to yeah. fly Southwest because I have points and like they yeah. build up. And Southwest is dog shit. Um, well, oh, so absolutely. The, ah, he the, said it. Well, it I know is, it. Jonas. It's dog shit. <laughs> it is. All right. I fly it too. It's dog shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's a, a battle no, it's, fighting. No, it's a Greyhound bust with wings. It's That's all it is. Spirit. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Better, it is slightly better. Which than, is yeah. insane because it's dog shit. <laughs> yeah, it's, spirit's not even dog shit. But no, so so, but but yeah, so you know, Southwest doesn't have first. No, class, they don't. Right? So, all it, but now they're changing, right. and I think y'all were talking about the new all seating. Right, so report. give yeah. us the experience. What what well, does here, it do? Here's the thing you need to know about flying first. Oh yeah, I need there to is know, something cause... called domestic first. And international first. Okay. When you're flying first class domestic, so within the 48. Okay. It is not the high level that it is when you're flying overseas. There's different mm. seats, different food, different everything, I right? Like so, okay. so like the seats in domestic first, which is where I usually fly, are better than coach. They're wider, and you've got more leg room, right? Okay. And they're usually it's usually two and two on the on the bigger plane. Do I get a bigger planes. screen to watch red panda? Sometimes, on. sometimes you get a bigger screen. Okay. You'll get a little bit bigger screen Can if, you put if it's your a newer legs plane. Up. No, he said put his legs there's up. no there there domestic first seats do not have like a foot rest. So it's like it's mm. like coach plus. I mean, it's better than coach because the seats are wider. It's better like, than all coach. right. So normally, plus. all right. So uh, let's go back that. to United. So United has 
economy and they have economy plus economy plus is basically the economy seats but they add like three or four inches of leg room oh, okay. which is a long ass three or four inches oh yeah for <laughs> sure it's huge i've right? definitely sat on an, an, an economy plus yeah. and, one, and it's and a big it's difference noticeably it's a more. noticeable difference so yeah if you're economy plus so when you have the status level that we that i have when you book your regular economy ticket you automatically can go straight into economy plus and pick your seat oh Nice. So that's that cool. that's a so nice you get a double. Perk. That's a great perk, and then yeah. So and then from there, when you go up to first class, then the seat gets you know several inches wider. It's two and two usually, so it's like an a, an aisle seat and a and a window seat. No okay, middle. You don't no have middle. a middle. Yeah, yeah. So there's no middle seat, and then and then you've got the extra the extra room. You're supposed to have your own. They have the bathroom in the front of the plane. It's they they say it's reserved for first class passengers. People who sit in the front of economy don't respect that. Neither do I. Because it's, it's a hell of a lot longer, shorter walk. To right, get right, there. right, right, right. So there's that. Now the drinks are free. That's what I'm talking. See, John, look, I don't know what more incentive I need. Well, honestly, I mean, how much? Ma how many drinks can you buy for the extra two to four hundred dollars it is to fly up how there? How many more can you bring to my well, table? Well, and you're like, can you bring me two gin and tonic? And by the time she gets back, you're like, can you bring me two more gin? Yeah, in two hours. They will one hundred percent like cut you off up there too. But but no, they'll keep bringing you free drinks. There's usually on longer flights like two and a half, three hours, and there's actually food like an actual hot meal brought to you, which yeah, they don't yeah. do that in the back anymore. Okay. Right. So okay. in the back, it's just every man for himself. Like okay. they almost never do food unless it's like a six hour flight. So like there's so, yeah, you get the food, you get a little meal and you get more space. You know, it's much more comfortable flight, but it is not the international first, which this I've done that. What too. I want to talk about. All right, so international first is when you get like the seat. It's like a little cubby. But these are like four thousand dollar flights. If you, eh, if you're doing it can first be. Class. It can be. So. Every every airline has its different level, right? But the seats lay down flat. You know, they become a oh! bed. But oh, I'll tell you, me? but you wouldn't fit in, like, be, you would not be able to lay on your back in Wait, one. You They're mean, too narrow. You, what do you mean you would You. Fit? You, you mean, wouldn't fit. I barely fit in one. What do you mean you people? What does that, <laughs> what does that mean? You what do you mean? <laughs> you, you specifically, All person. Right. I'm 6'3". I'm 6'3". Six yeah. three. Yeah. Six so three. you're, like, it'd be, I wouldn't fit. you. You would fit, but it wouldn't be. It's not like you're big, not open, lounging out. You're like you'd be in, like tight. Yeah, in some of them. Now there's other ones like they and like even United has multiple classes of international first. Yeah, I know. There's so, like the Marshawn no, Lynch like section. Yeah, yeah. well, and there, there's like there's the, the the Polaris class, which is the one that you would fit right. Like that's their highest level in in oh, United. Oh, they all have you get them. Get your right? own room. Like, they give you some porn. I've to watch. never I've never flown. That. You don't get your own room, but you get check your own pod, and like there's that's nobody next to you. Crazy. I've flown the one below that which is like the the lay flat seats but you do have somebody next to you okay and so i've done that but i've never done like the the, the individual pod seats i know people that have and they give so, you like a blanket and they give you like this personalized kit and all give this me like bullshit. an estimated price range between like the highest of polaris versus like the one below it well like when i've looked at polaris tickets like usually that's international you're flying a yeah. long way all of that stuff is about availability and all that, so it could be all over the place. I've seen I've seen ten thousand dollars tickets because they only them. have so many available. Yeah, well, and they and they're trying and they they try to drive revenue the way. So early on, you're not going to get a deal, but you might grab a deal every now and then on one of those things where it might be just like a it's like uh, like a week before the flight and there's no, they want to book it. Yeah, you might get. be a couple grand. It's the same with domestic, right? So when I book a domestic flight just regular a lot of times it'll be like hey for two hundred dollars more you can upgrade to first class and i'm like it's a two-hour flight no nah, i'm good and That's you know fair. whatever but yeah for overseas they i think they will do the same thing yeah. but but it, you're it's in the thousands i mean oh. you might get a first class for ticket overseas way? are you talking probably yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so like you could pay 20k to fly round trip if you like if you're flying to like dubai or somewhere yeah Oh my God! Bro, but, if, and, you got, if you got it, you got it. All right, bro. and then there's yeah. like the you get now. So look at other airlines. You got like Emirates and stuff, and they've the ones that have like the 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 suites to where you have like your own. It's like a room. hotel room. Yeah, it's like you have your own room with a bed and a couch and all kinds yeah. of shit. Like those things are twenty k per per trip or insane. like twenty thirty thousand dollars per. But like, per but yeah, but if yeah. you're talking like Saudi money, yeah, like, that's like, yeah, they're that, like they, whatever. They're dude. not for you. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're not, not yeah, for me. Exactly. Talking like, MLB cash. Yeah, yeah, you're you got serious cash, and and like you got. I'm I probably should be just flying private cash. 
if you if you're right, sitting up right, there. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, that's exactly. true. But you'll see people that can that like these points people on like social media that can pick that stuff up. They will pick that stuff up with points on some random deal. Uh, and you'll I see that you. kind of stuff. That stuff's a possibility. Well, yeah, because like when I flew to to England. It, like the food was just god awful, and they had like a little Trash, menu yeah. board. You could be like, "Oh, I want a submarine sandwich," and, and it comes it's and like, like <laughs> it's it's supposed to be hot, and like the middle's still cold, and no, it's just like, yeah, no, it's I'm trash. like, "Oh my god, dude!" And, and like, this was, yeah. was this first or was this? It was no, it was, it was economy. economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "Oh my god, they're basically giving us kibble." So yeah. my my proposal is that we are going to Japan. We've already decided oh, yeah. that yeah. earlier in the earlier podcast this week. week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we should at least go first class. Oh, I'm only going first class. I, I I'm not flying that far if I'm not in a goddamn seat oh I'm God. comfortable in. That's why like, I just 20. I well I just won't go. Y'all are dropping twenty <laughs> k on this Japan trip. No, I told no, you I got I'm points, not baby. Flying for Poleris, I, Poleris, Polaris, Polaris. I'm going to go like first class though if I go. Well, that that's if the, it cost me. So a, if you if you fly to Japan, Polaris is probably the only first class they have, right? So they don't, they're not on every plane. It's not like there's like six classes in every plane. It's just. Different planes, different routes. You have think different they only classes. have like the the upper, so like upper, upper? I promise you on the trip to on the trip to Par- on trip to Tokyo it's gonna have economy and economy plus and it'll have this new thing they call called uh, economy it's like deluxe economy or something which is basically the first cl- the domestic first class seats okay but that's it like they're just it's just economy but the bigger seats. And then they'll have Polaris class. That's what United would have. I'm, I'm mostly familiar with United. All the other airlines do the same Well, thing. look, whatever the equivalent is, because obviously they're just moving the goalposts yep. at this point. And they're just like putting names on shit to try to like, honestly. Make garner. it fancy. Yeah, whatever. So whatever I got to fly to be comfortable, that's what I want to go. Well, obviously, like, I'm not going to go with the most expensive. I don't want the Marshawn Lynch. I don't want the Tom Brady special. But yeah. give me the like the reasonable guy who works at a Fortune. I mean, 500. I think you can get the reasonable. All guy. right, so so like some companies, like some b- bigger companies, like if you're flying overseas, it's in their travel policy. If you're a certain level, that yes, you can fly business class, yeah. and that's that is what they they that is what they're talking about. So my brother actually gets a dick. He flies to Brazil all the time. Okay, just for an example. Oh, you pulled one up. Here Austin to Tokyo. Say you were leaving in a week and mm-hmm. staying a week. One way first class. Twenty two hundred dollars. So you're paying forty four hundred for round trip just on your flight. That seems that, that's I'm what I would have guessed. It yeah, would have cost. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't do round trip though. Maybe <laughs> so you'd fly first class there instead of economy <laughs> back, on the way sit home. In the back, like this sucks. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, I'd go economy crazy. there and fly first. Yeah, class. that's <laughs> what I was thinking. That's what I was you thinking. don't want to know what you're missing. Yeah, like this freaking sucks. And then the return trip, I'm like, this is great. Yeah, I should do sucks. this all the time. All the time. Yeah. But yeah. honestly, I would buy it months and months, maybe even like a year in advance. So it wouldn't would, be it wouldn't be cheaper to do it that way. Oh well, but, you just crush my freaking dream. Well, no, dude. like doing the week out is probably your best bet. Like I bet. I, oh, look, because here, of change scary, the date yeah. for six months from now and see what you get. Okay, hold on. Uh, <laughs> this, this motherfucker's on uh, Flatigo. Yeah. What no, is it no, I'm, no, no, I'm on Air Japan. <laughs> Oh, oh like actual, actual, okay, gotcha. Ew. See yeah. what Southwest has <laughs> <laughs> on those Tokyo trips on South right, on, we'll on the seven thirty seven. We'll do January, which is probably like a better time to go. Well, hold on, we'll see what it says. But uh, but yeah, but then you got to think. So that's say say you did that. That's forty four hundred bucks plus. You're you're it, like if you're if you're gonna fly, what are you gonna stay in a hostel? Like you're gonna stay in a nice hotel room, which is gonna be like three hundred bucks. No, the American dollar goes longer in Japan, man. Come on, we America, man. What are you talking about right now? Balling. Thank you. Damn, the economy is seven hundred dollars. Oh, okay, the- okay then. Honestly, I think that you're looking up yen prices right now, and not even like American dollar prices. I know how to use a website. I'm just making content right now. I don't know why <laughs> yeah. you take it personal. All right, I'm, I, I'm just checking. I'm just checking United since that's what I fly. I'm gonna see oh, what's up. The yeah. These guys got, got their got the goddamn phones out. I got to talk in the freaking microphone. Yeah, you doing so. good over there? You doing I, good? I, I, How's that going? Like I have no. Talk- I've had, I have, I have, I have. Oh my shit! Okay, he got something, dude. I have heard you stories. You weren't wrong. Booking out in January, seventy three hundred dollars each way. Four forty three hundred dollars is it's the more. lowest price for one way. Oh, it's oh wow, more. Yeah, it's way more to go out that long. Yeah, that's insane. Cause because they know they if you're making plans to go to Tokyo, you want to plan, so they want to. They want to get their yeah, money out like, of you. They're trying to fill that seat now. Up they're for like next it, week. Like next week, they're like, we just need somebody to sit here. It's so dis- that is so disgusting. Like the fleecing of America. That's- how like f- how how plane tickets are like like the stock market. It's all it's gambling. It's almost like you have to like know the system. You have to be like. 
pre ingrained with like yeah. information. It's insane because I've been trying. I'm I'm going to New Orleans in a few months. So I've been watching like Southwest and just checking flights. One one day it'll be a hundred bucks. The next day it'll be like two twenty. The oh, next ridiculous. day it'll be one forty. And this is like just day after day after day. And I know if I wait till. A month out, I can get. I've seen flights to New Orleans from Austin for sixty dollars. Yeah, I, I just I just pulled up yeah. like next April on United, and it was eight thousand dollars each way. Ooh, fuck. Oh my so, god, bro! Yeah, it, it ain't. It ain't cheap so what get. if I waited till the day of? You might find a deal. <laughs> well, I'm hoping I can get there today. Prob- First class, let's go. <laughs> it's maybe. I mean, if you got that, you're, you're probably better off booking the cheap flight and trying to upgrade. Exactly. Right. So you're like, yeah. I'm going anyway. But can I upgrade for like another thousand, two thousand dollars? That's that day? actually a valid point because you can do that through the website and app applications. So, so yeah. anyways, but that's anyways. all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT oh, and oh, crushing dreams. It's Mr. X. We have bye.